try putting this screw stuff like that right mm. and so it was like really cute in that sense like it was just can't expect much of a fucking five-year-old so yeah. whatever they can do is great right and then as i got older and a bit you know too smart for my fucking own good like in those teenagers then it would be more of like if i would talk back he's like let's fucking slap me and be like what the fuck's wrong with you this is my project your help you're, you're, you're here to fucking Help me out, you, yeah. Help me out, and also do this. You're like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So then, there, there's a bit of that when I when I would help all those projects. Like, okay, you know, obviously, like, take a step back. Um, but what's interesting now is that, and I've helped out my dad in a few projects recently. But it, it, that, those are actually really those, those are fun because I'm helping him out, and obviously, I know how to help him out now. Mm. Like, I know when to speak up if I need to. If I'm like, hey, dad, by the way, I think maybe let's look at this kind of thing. But it's very like, I'm really just there to help him do whatever he he wants to do. But on this one, on this, on these, this project with the apartment is interesting because um, different dynamic. Yeah, because it's mine, right? Yeah. Like it's my, um, it's my project, it's my apartment, and it's interesting because I, I can feel that he wants what, what's best for me, and he, he wants to help me as best he can, right? Like it's, he's been driving to the apartment, you know, bring uh, supplies over, bring in materials over, whatever, and like we've gone to Home Depot to get stuff, and and it's interesting because as much as I know that he he already has like ideas that he wants to tell me to like do it this mm. way, or do it that way. It's more of like gentle suggestions. He's like, hey, uh, maybe consider doing this instead of this. Um, instead of before, if we were doing it, it'd be like, no, this is the way, right? Yeah. Like, do it like that. And I can tell that he kind of at times wants to do that. Like, if I have a different idea of, like, what I want to do with, let's say, like, like a closet down. Like, oh, I want to put rails here instead of there. And I can tell sometimes he wants to be like, no, no, you got to do it like this. He'll actually he'll be like, okay, no, that's fine. I'm sure, we can do it that way. And But it's been really, really cool. It's been... Uh, good quiet like soothing moments with him when we've just been like working away like on friday night we were just doing uh putting together the closet system and, and that was cool because it's just we weren't really saying much we were just bo both working there we knew what to do because we've done mm. some stuff similar in the past um but it, it's actually been really yeah it's been i really enjoyed it for sure sounds like you motherfuckers are vibing son. yeah man really are it's been it's been really 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 nice i, I i've i really enjoyed our, our, our time together doing that that's cool it's something man. something i'll remember for for a long time i think that's cool, man. I think those are those are milestones you got to keep. They you are. You got to keep tight. They are. And, uh, you know, it's the little moments in life that make the happiness. It's not the Bentley. It's not anything like that. <laughs> yeah, it's stuff like that. It's like shit like this, man. Yeah, it is. And you know what? You know what's another milestone I want? I want the Lakers super team ah! to fucking win <laughs> something. These motherfuckers, I hype these motherfuckers out. I'm like, 0-6 oh, in preseason watch. They're going to go on a 20 and nothing run. What are we at right now? Dude, 0-2. Oh, 0-2. Oh, what the fuck? What was what's the last game on? score? Uh, I think it was 125 to 105, if I believe. Not great. <laughs> did you LeBron see LeBron James, man? Did you see that clip of JL McGee and Carmelo going at it? Did not like not, too, did, not too crazy, but they were Lakers are already down 20 at this point. Yeah, and then like Carmelo's like mouthing off at, at Javale, and they're just like going back and forth a bit. Did you see that? Uh, I that saw that, but I also saw um, Davis going at it with Howard on the bench. Oh, really? Yeah. Like you think like Davis was telling Howard off? Well, yeah, he should be because Howard is not a primary starter. Oh, no, for starter. sure. Davis has every fucking right to tell Howard yeah. what the fuck is up. Yeah. For sure. Just out of resume. Um, it's sad because you see the actual value on the court now. Like, I was surprised Carmelo's only getting paid under $2 million, but I see that see he why? has no dominance yeah. in any certain yeah. way. Um, no way Westbrook should be getting paid like LeBron, period. I haven't been paying close attention to the league. Like I haven't He's been watching paid games. Forty four. You... No, I know that. But have you been watching the games? Like in the uh, at least I, a bit. I've the watched. Games? I've watched like fifteen minute highlights. So b based off what you've seen, where do you think the team's really struggling right now? Chemistry. Westbrook is just doing the same shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Davis isn't as Davis dominant. Like. Yeah, that's a problem. And LeBron doesn't have any three pointers three-point shooters yep. that he can pass off to and 
because Westbrook is still doing what he's doing, he doesn't know the team dynamics. Yeah, yeah. LeBron can't drive and shoot out, pass out. Interesting. Because it's Westbrook's doing that. Right I was now. gonna say Westbrook is not a, like a catch and shoot kind of guy. No, We've gone they've over already this. they've already uh, waived five guys, but it, those five guys were like randoms, Fuck literally man. randoms that they had. So now they're at fifteen guys on the roster. But at the, at this point, your Lakers management, what do you think the next step is? Keep keep experimenting with the lineups and maybe something clicks, or do you look at Rondo has on to some take more Tron, support, support guys. Rondo has to take um, the other cat is useless. Who who are you talking about? Uh, you are talking about the other point guard? You're like he's gonna be a starter. Useless. Oh, uh, uh, what the fuck's not none? Was it none? None. 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 None's trash right now. None. None's trash. He's Fuck useless. No. So I, I who do they got? Who do they, who do they have a point right now? LeBron. Uh, he's a point forward basically, but him, Westbrook, and sometimes Rondo. But I'd say Rondo needs to take over in order to have, like, kind of kind of like a, out. yeah, settle it yeah. down. Like you need a king to run an empire, you know that kind of <laughs> thing. So Rondo needs to really tell these guys like what to do because LeBron he can't be productive and tell guys what to do. It's it takes away from his game too much. Interesting. So you need a a second guy like Rondo. Like I don't know if you remember. Rondo was with the Celtics. He made that work. Yes, if Ron, it, if Rondo, Rondo was wasn't, a Celtics general, hundred yeah. percent. And then you had Garnett. Mario, Garnett then, was your enforcer, yeah. but Rondo was the general. Sure. And then uh, if you look at Miami, Mario Chalmers was people forget the, about Chalmers. The general. I, people don't understand like how important Mario Chalmers was. People what? always talk about Wade and LeBron, and then when they remember, they'll talk about Bosch. But people forget about Chalmers. I forgot about Chalmers. Yo, you remember when? Bosch was like there was all these clips of Bosch being ultra suspect and he just disappeared on on the planet. Yeah, there was like so many. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, super yeah, suspect yeah, like yeah. on certain things. I was like, yo, this is. I do remember that. This is weird. Anyway, um, what do you think the Lakers are gonna be? Like, last thoughts on that. Like, what okay. do you think? How far do you think they're gonna go? I, do you think they're gonna win? Not. They're gonna be trash. Personally, it's too early for me to make a call. But mm. however, I do think that they, I do think that this slump will turn around. Like mm-hmm. as much of a Lakers Lakers hater that I am, I do think they will make they will turn around because they have enough talent on that squad to make some shit happen. Whether someone on that squad currently has to take a step back or someone has to take a step forward, like you mentioned, Rondo is an mm-hmm. example. Not sure who like that's gonna be, how that's gonna work out, but I think there's enough there that they can make some shit happen. For a prediction, I couldn't say. I'd I'd say like upper table maybe. If I had to give a one minute um, speech about what they should do as far as management, Westbrook needs to calm the fuck down. <laughs> okay, he needs to stop. He needs to stop being so fucking selfish as fuck. LeBron needs to become actual LeBron and not play like fucking uh, old LeBron from fucking old Lord oh, video. Okay, okay, okay. He's hella old. Davis needs to fucking man up, take some steroids. His bones are shattering. <laughs> Uh, fucking, uh, what's his name? Fucking Jordan. He needs to be like a legitimate shot blocker. Dwight needs to stop fucking these goddamn trannies and man the fuck up and stop fucking arguing. Remember these fucking rumors? I can't imagine you as like a fucking, I would love to see it actually, an NBA level coach. All right, Dwight, you got to stop fucking around at these gas stations. Stop this shit. You got to get your mind in the fucking game. Stop following what John Jones (laughs) doing with these gas fucking station dick pills, man. Jesus Christ, Christ, man. Anyway. Uh, going from that to fucking Alec fucking Baldwin killing News motherfuckers. News of the fucking week. Dude, Jesus. I am I'm subscribed to the Times, and I'll shoot you some articles every once in a while. But shoot me all you want, bro. Just don't shoot me in the face with that load, son. Holy shit. When I saw that but, like that notification coming out on my butt? phone, yeah. I was like, I, I had to read it a couple times because I couldn't understand. Like, I was like, what the fuck? And when like, I yo, opened up the article, I was like, this guy actually killed somebody. He's crazy, though, dog. So, yeah, okay, sure. And then I started reading into it, and then we find out that it was the set of a Western film, which makes sense because a lot of guns in Westerns. But then you look into the details, and you're like, this guy killed a very high-level member of the movie. He killed the director of photography, a woman by the name of Hayala Hutchins, I think it was. Yeah. And a director... Ukrainian for, woman. Um, a director of photography, for people who don't know, is the person in charge of actually operating the main camera in a movie. And... People sometimes you'll hear that as like a cinematographer as well as the same deal, but that's the person who's actually running the camera. So without that, you were kind of fucked because then you're relying on your second staff, whatever uh, assistant, uh, assistant photographer, or whatever the hell. But that that that's a key member of the film, and then he also injured the the actual director of the fucking movie. 
how fucked how fucked is that do you think it was a setup or you think no. it was for real I, I think we'll we'll see what happens when the investigation actually comes out. When I was reading the first article that came out, cheers, by the way. When I was reading the first article about what happened. Yes, they're talking ground. about like, They're talking about, you know, details will unfold. They actually also mentioned the last time something like this happened. Mm. Do you know when it was? Bruce Lee. That's right. Brandon. Yeah. Bruce Lee's son. What's Bra- up? Good shit. Brandon Lee in 1993, when they were filming, he was fatally shot on the set of the, of the film as well. In his case, it w- the, the, the investigation discovered that it was a bullet that was lodged, a real bullet that was lodged in the barrel of the gun that wasn't inspected properly. And when they fired the blank, hit the, that the blank <laughs> shot out though the actual mm. the actual bullet. In this case, obviously, the investigation is too early f- to for them to say. But I was talking. I have a I have a a coworker who used to work in the film industry, mm. and we were talking about that last week. And basically, what he said was. The amount of checks and balances that you are supposed to have, supposed mm. to, right? So who knows what actually happened, that you're supposed to have before an actor actually takes a fucking weapon and shoots it on film. There were a lot of mistakes that happened in order for this to happen, in order mm. for this to take mm. place. So you have, uh, you have a person who's like the prop master, the prop director, who's in charge of all equipment in a film set. So if guns are going to be involved, this guy is actually alongside a weapons technician or specialist inspecting all the weapons to make sure they're you know not loaded that they're safe sometimes they'll actually lock the barrels yeah to make sure they can't even be fired like so it's supposed to be checked before it even gets handed off to the next person which is again the actual assistant who will then take it yeah give it to the it. actor so, so it's, it's the amount of, of shit that yeah. had to go wrong for this to happen is fucked yeah uh i don't think it was I think it was 100% accidental. It's I think like, so. There's no real... I can't really see a motive, but maybe I'm blinded by not enough information. But it doesn't seem like, like you know, on average, why would you think a guy like Alex Baldwin is going to have some... Yeah, no, no, no. A reason I, I to don't, kill some random Ukrainian don't. photographer director. Like, come on, son. Do you think we'll see any, like, um, any like repercussions off this? Like, who do you think will f- face repercussions, if any? I don't think Alec Baldwin will face. You don't any, think so? I think the people that was supposed to check probably their company's gonna get sued or something Insurance like that. Insurance payouts, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, big time. It's okay, gonna well. be some cover ups and some fucking some of that shit, some Hollywood scandal shit. But again, this is like, I don't think this is the Epstein stuff. No, no, you know no, no, I mean? no, no, no. I, 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 it's I don't not think, creepy I, like I, that. I don't, I don't think so either. I really don't. Um, I yeah, I really do think this was like a, an accident, but a fucked up malicious accident at yeah, that. Like, yeah. This is not like, oh, you know, I forgot to give you the right, you know, pants. This is like, the fuck? You know what I mean? Listen, hold on, bro. Hold on. If somebody's going to give you fucking pants, you better be disabled or something. Like, you, nobody can give you pants. No, like, you know, like a, like a costume set. We'll give you yeah, like, okay, your shit. Okay, so that's okay, what I mean. Fine, your fine. wardrobe. But nobody's yeah. going to come up to Hector Zunik and be like, yo, let me give you this, these right pants. Okay? <laughs> no, no, no. I meant like no. within the context of the film, like when they yeah, give yeah, him yeah. stuff. So, yeah, th- this was like. Like Jesus, you watch. Uh, speaking of fucking uh, fucked up people that are in Hollywood and shit, you watch that new Dave Chappelle, The Closer. Yeah, I did. Front to back. Did you watch the whole thing? I watch. I watched the whole thing, but I the the problem is I watched it like a week ago. Did Literally the it? day the day you told me you're watching it. Yeah, I watched it the whole day that day. Okay, I watched it in chunks throughout okay. like over two days. You might remember it better, but I think uh, there was too many. Like, what was your overall? like feeling about it it was good okay it was good but maybe i'm being a piece of shit but i expected more from Chappelle. i don't think you're being a piece of shit this guy's a legend so why not hold legends to a higher status i uh you could say that but you could, some people enjoyed it like i talked to this yeah. one girl and she loved it she's like oh i think it's the best one really of oh, the netflix specials yeah man. because she's more like uh, uh i don't want to say this but she's like a anti-trans a fake activist uh interesting you know there's like these no 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 no. yeah we've talked about it before yeah so i uh, she's kind of like she's trying to be like new light new fucking understanding so she's like oh it's good that he's bringing light into the thing and making it more uh something that we could talk about more and i mean i get it yeah okay but it takes away from how funny the fucking thing is and it turns into a a rant a commentary Yeah. yeah it turns into a rant like okay i'll give you an example remember george carlin yes was george carlin funny to you yes he was funny. Yes. On average, 
I only watched his uh, like the big stuff on YouTube like ten years ago back when they it used was to have some of like he had like uh okay I'll tell you what I've watched. Hmm. I've watched his later, later, later bits, like before he died, like when he was really old. Yeah. And then I watched a few of his stuff when he was maybe like around 50 or so. Okay. Anything before that, I haven't seen. So like his early stuff back with like Richard Pryor and yeah, stuff, yeah, I didn't yeah. watch any of that. So he had, I mean, listen, any kind of comedy in the 70s and 80s, yeah. we watch it today. Even Eddie Murphy, people like swear by like him Like the shit. legends, yeah. It's corny. Their jokes are cornier and shit. Like right. Richard Pryor was the only guy... And even his jokes, some of them are corny now because it's like it's been heard before so many times. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And those those are the guys that set those standards. But because we have so many, I, or me personally, I have so many recollection of watching yeah, yeah. stand-up that it's corny. It's not like the first time I'm hearing some shit. That's why when I heard this Chappelle stuff, it was kind of steering towards his, his – he has this whole genre of LGBTQT jokes. Yeah. Some of them are good, great. Yeah. But they're great in small doses. When you expand that, you make a whole show out of it. Like a two whole third of a of show. Was that? Yeah. Am I wrong? Two thirds of a show. I don't know about two thirds, but it was. It was a. I would say at least one third. Like definitely sure. one third. I put you, money. Can on you that. argue? Say it's half. Sure, you can. Yeah, I think you could argue. Okay. Say it's half. Yeah. Let's say it's one third. Yeah. How long was that fucking stand? up Hour. Hour. That's a long time. Yeah, it's twenty, 20 minutes yeah. of fucking tranny jokes. Yeah. And it was like multiple jokes over and over again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I gotta say though that Clifford shit was hilarious. That's how he started off. Which that good. Clifford shit I was like, hilarious. Okay, my, my highlights was the Clifford part. Yeah. The uh, the sexist part. Mm. Uh, like the, the Me Too. He made a joke about Me yeah, Too. Yeah, yeah, that was that, good. That was a good that one. Was that was good. a good one. That was good. Um, and then the last one, which wasn't wasn't that funny, but I just liked it from a storytelling aspect. Yeah. Was the was it the tranny friend, or the lesbian friend? The the, the, the it was the, the, the it aspiring was the, comic. The, 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 was she the, transgendered? Yeah. So she, she was the transgender that had balls. Yes. Um, to but, go on stage and yeah, like yeah, that, choke for that, like that, forty five minutes and then and then be a good sport about it. Exactly. Later. So that I that part wasn't I wasn't laughing so much, but I enjoyed it from a storytelling mm. point of view. He does have amazing storytelling. He does. But I'd say I'd say Joey Diaz has better because Joey Blaze uh, August fourth, nineteen eighty seven. Sure. I was getting my dick sucked. Like uh, it's yeah, so. I, I guess I'll, I'll try it out. I'll try it out. But like. I liked his his the way he told the story. Not so much like the trying to make it funny, but he you it could was tell, genuine. Yeah, you could tell yeah. that it was honestly. If he tell if he told me tomorrow that whole show was fake, I'd be like, honestly, good fucking job because yeah, I truly real. believe that's a genuine yeah, story, yeah. right? I think a lot of stuff he says is fake though. But you as know long what? listen as, as long, long as, as you make I me believe, believe it, yes yeah. <laughs> yeah. as long as you make me believe which don't, that's enough for me that's I, don't, I don't need more yeah yeah fuck it uh, if you guys haven't already heard uh, go back a few episodes we do talk about this whole like social media activism fake activist bullshit so check that shit out because that was that was a pretty good segment but overall I'd say this show I enjoyed it but like you said it was just a bit too much on certain certain things back to back to back. So it's like a yeah. couple of funny tranny jokes, fine, but like you're making a thing out of it at this point mm. in the sense where it's becoming more commentary than an actual comedy special. Yeah. And that actually, when I started looking at reviews of this show, some people were mentioning that they're like, Dave Chappelle over the last few years has started to transition from a comedian to yeah. like a co- social commentary kind yeah. of guy where he's he'll have like a, a message or an Words agenda. Words of wisdom. Yeah, and like an, an agenda material. that he wants to like put out like a theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he uses his specials as a way to get that stuff out. Yeah. Uh, going dark, bro, right now. You're going to get dark on me like that? Yeah, man. Oh, my God. So there's this native foster kid that... So oh, Jesus, okay. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me explain this. Kay. So like close to just over 40% of foster kids in Canada are native. That's up. Big number. Yeah. So that speaks volumes. So this one kid uh, in BC, about 400 kilometers away from uh, Prince George. Yeah. He wanted to meet. He, I guess he had white parents. I, it doesn't really say, but he, his parents weren't native and he's native and he wanted to see his real parents. So he went to the reservation and his parent, his foster parents allowed him to go on reservation. Okay. To see his real native yeah. parents. So I don't know if you, how much you know about the laws, but basically after you know foster kids you they the middleman of a foster kid is social services yes okay yeah. so there's a combination of the foster kid the social services and the native uh, biological family when you are in reserves 
technically, I don't know if you know, you don't have to abide by social services rules and regulations because you're on you private know, native land. The, I, I didn't know that specifically, but it doesn't surprise me because I do know that you don't actually have to abide by a lot of common laws that we have outside reservations. Dude, cops have no regulation. They have like their own RCM, cops. They have their own they have cops their own there. Co- yeah, but yeah. dude, their cops are like their cousins. I know. That's yeah. the thing. They yeah. they have no cops. That's the beautiful. They do. Thing. They do. But like, it's but different. it's not. It's like okay. They, okay, they do in, the, in this sense. They're and, not gonna get pulled over and, actually, and put in handcuffs for fucking a and, gram of blow. It, it almost reminds me of, of actually Chappelle's joke in the closer. Since we're talking about, it, I remember where he's like, gay, "What do you say? Um, gay people are minorities until they need to be white again." Yeah. <laughs> that was like, see, yeah, there are some yeah, good moments. Some good. Fuck good it. Moments. We'll say it was a decent show because there were some good moments. There like, some I saw, good moments. Some quotable moments. So that was a funny. That was a if it wasn't one. for if he cut it short. Like, I think so too. With with the training yes. stuff, I would be like, "This was great." Actually, yeah, I think you're yeah, right. I think if he cuts great. himself out, like so, like an editor was like, "Yeah, because that Clifford let's... shit, bro. That Clifford shit broke my fucking <laughs> my jaw, bro. It, like, <laughs> pause, pause on that. Like, no homo, but like that that like broke my jaw, bro. That was hilarious. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so that so similar to that, I know what I mean by police. I mean in the sense of if you as a white man or you as an outsider go into some fucked up shit in a reservation they will 100% have police against your ass. Yeah. But okay, but this, this if is the, they this do the some thing. shit Hold to on. you on reservations, police doesn't exist. Okay, but listen, I could do... This has come up, so I'll tell you off sure. camera what... I've been on reservation to drop something off. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you. the deal went sideways. Okay. And I grabbed the cash and I grabbed the shit and I bounced. Yeah. Their cops can't come out of... Like, they have no yes. jurisdiction. No, no, they can't leave. Yeah. So but what I'm saying is if they get you inside their jurisdiction... They, and you are an outsider doing some yeah. shit there, they will fuck you. I, However, if you're I, like, I, I, ra- I ran off. Yeah, yeah. Once I was off the reservation, no, yeah, they it's, stopped it's, chasing it's over. Me. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like, if they get you while you're inside, yeah. and you're an outsider, and you did some shit against natives yeah. in a reservation, you're fucked. You're so fucked. You're fucked. That's you're when fucked. they have police. That's when you have police. But if it's the other way around, there's no police. Okay, man. Um, I got some interesting ass fucking. Uh, what you got? Urban Dictionary this time, Let's bro. see if I can go, like, 50% this time. Because what was that last time? Like, 40, 30? <sighs> bro, you were trash last time. Let's the time honest. before that was good. Uh, but then last time it was not. I was not good at all. Um, so, we all... Outside of the planets and outside, like, just space, okay? Not on a planet. Would you say that the universe is the same temperature? Or yes. Or not? It is? Yeah, yeah. Space, yeah. Space, space has a temperature. Like, the vacuum of space has what a temperature. What do you think the temperature it's, it's is? It's super fucking cold. It's cold as shit. Take a guess. If it's, it, like, it's like minus 200 Celsius. Close. It's, it's close to absolute zero. Close. Is 270. It absolute, oh, it's absolute zero then. Yeah. Absolute, it's absolute zero, zero is 270, no, it's, 273. It, it's not absolute zero. It's... It's right there. It's <laughs> it's minus 2.97 to absolute zero. So, it's absolute zero minus 2.97. Yeah, yeah, so I'm saying you're, yeah. you're barely that's because two yeah. absolute zero is two seventy three. Yeah. So yeah, so there you go. You're right there. Um, boom, that's fucking right, man. First time, first time in a long time. Well, if you hit me with some like sciencey engineering stuff, I got a better chance, man. Okay, well this is this is pretty sciencey. Oh this yeah, is, this is super science. Oh yeah, oh, all right. This Finally, is, I'm gonna is. be better than fifty <laughs> fucking percent. Okay. I mean, after so, so long. Um, how many percentage of the universe is mass atoms? I'm talking about solid atoms, not gas. Per- percent of the universe? Yeah. Not much. I'd say like 5%. Dude, you've looked into this. No, I you swear s- I haven't. Motherfucker. I swear to... Yo, you. I swear. Like, What do you swear to? Camera on me. I, 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 I don't have, I'm not wearing a cross, but I swear. I swear to God. I swear to Jesus. Okay. It's about 4.9%. Oh! This fucking guy. <laughs> Hell yes. Okay. So do you think babies have less... Or more bones than adults. Ah, shit. I'm saying Fuck. babies' cartilage, they probably have less. Adults have less. Adults have less than babies? Well, you got to think about growing bones, right? Those yeah. Those count as two. Like your shins when you're fair, a kid. Fair, fair, fair. Those are two because they have I was thinking plates. more because, like, you know, kids have more cartilage in them. Like, it's all soft. You ever, you ever feel a baby's head? No, no, no. Fine. But that cartilage isn't bone that's what i mean so that's why i'm like they have less than than adults adults would have more actual bone mass yes but amount, amount no interesting okay all right all right okay so you're, you're two for three that's 60 percent still two for three bro you're 66 six, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. going deep um strongest muscle in your body 
I uh, don't think too hard. Like is absolute or like relative? I guess that doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter. Pounds per square inch. You got Scobby, it. You got it. Can't be. You got it. Can't be like. You got it. Can't be small. You got it. Oh, I got it. Ah, uh, you the got jaw, it. Mouth, like, like, like jaw. Why are you asking me questions? Jaw, jaw, jaw. Of course, Fucking of hell, course. Yeah. You like fuck. alligators over here. Because you got to understand, it's, it's pound per square inch. That's how it counts, it, right? So it is pound for pound, really. Okay. Right. That's what it really is. So you're fucking, what are you, what are you at? Three, Three for four. Four, 75%. Hell My yeah. boy's getting Hell a yeah. B. He's on the honor roll. I'm almost there. Get He's me, on get me an A minus and I'll be happy. Um, One more right answer and then we'll call it. Cause that's like, how much, how much saliva do you think a, a uh, person produces fuck. in their lifetime of average of 80 years? Fucking hell, man. This is a good one. Uh, People always like to use clickbaity stuff with this. So like swimming pools, they'll be like Olympic swimming pools. Let's, uh. In my whole life. Yeah. We'll say two Olympic swimming pools. You motherfucker. I know you've looked in. No, no, no. Is it three? How dare you? Uh, what is it? It's two. Hell I, yes. I, see, you're too specific with your answers. I know it's no. fucking fake. No. Bro, this guy. This guy. Um. So what are you at? Four for five? You're 80%. That's it. We might call it here. Dude. What do you... How many pounds do you think we eat in a lifetime of oh. years? Of what? Food. Food no, in what general? Do you think? No, what do you think? No, dick. Like, no. Of dick. What do you Dude, think? Dick? Oh, 11, no, I'm <laughs> uh, 11 pounds. 11 pounds. Um, in a lifetime? No, in two lifetimes. Of course, it's a lifetime, Fuck, man. Come man. on. Get it together. <sighs> average person? No, the fucking extraordinary. Of course, average person. Don't be an person. asshole. I'm trying. This is come a hard on, number man. to come up with. Literally uh, okay, said fine. all this in the can, question. Can I, can, I, can I at least ask you a question? Like what unit? No. Fuck me. Pounds. Oh, pounds. Uh, it's got to be thousands. Fucking hell. This guy already knows the answer. No, I don't. I don't. I swear. I want to say like Sauce ten. Pack. I want to say like ten thousand. Um, say twenty thousand pounds. Hundred fifty thousand pounds. Fucking hell! Not even close. And that's that's a regular. And bitch. that's that's a yeah. Wow, that's crazy. That's a regular bitch. That was not five, even like savages. That was four for six. I think I'm at hundred thousand right now. In my lifetime. Shut the fuck up, man. Bro, I'd be stacking these double <laughs> cheese. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be stacking these double cheese. Four for six. What is so, that? So. What do you got there? Four for six. You're at, I'm going to say. Damn it. Just under 70%. 66. My math is fucking crisp, man. Crisp. Better like than. fucking LeBron James. Better than 50%, though. I like that. Hey, listen. You're getting a C plus. No, C you're getting plus. a C. C plus. C plus. It rounds up to a C plus. Okay. So like seven. Yeah, teacher's yeah. parent conference. They're like, your kid's okay. He's not a retard. <laughs> but he can improve. He can improve. That's uh, I heard a lot of that shit. Dude, did you ever take your parents there? Always. I never took I always I would Would you lie? Dude, one what did time you do? Perez saw me with two different dads. Oh, adults? I never did that. Oh, sorry, so not adults. High school never did, but primary school, yeah. We had to do it. I, I somehow found a way out of it. I never, like, I think, like, at grade eight, that was it. Wow. I never did the yeah, I never did the Lucky upper ones. bitch. Yeah, yeah. I brought two of my buddies. They were, like, 45 and, like, like 49. And Perez, because I had Perez yeah. two years R back R to R back. R.I.P. Perez, R.I.P. Man. Yeah, do that shit. Um, but, yeah, Perez saw me. He's like, yo, he pulled me aside. One, he, didn't, he didn't blow my cover in front of yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Like, which was cool. Man. Which was cool. Don't do that again. <laughs> yeah. He's like, listen, man, I know you don't have two different dads. Like, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> He's like, yo, come on, son. Yeah, yeah. Do you think I'm a retard? Like, come on, come on. Um, I think it's... Tuning in. Thank you for listening. We will have some more things for you coming up this week. Got some interesting stuff coming out for you this week, actually. Potentially.